Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain integration between Kafka UI and Kclub with Vasto protocol, like as in previous videos for Python app, Kiala, USB, or it doesn't matter for any of them. I will point important parts which I did here, try to explain the part for I mean client configuration of the Kafka UI which I did in Kclub too, and at the same time code stuff, how I installed it and which part I've changed inside of config map, it doesn't matter, in values, in place where Kafka will be installed and Kafka UI will be installed. Of course, at the end of the video, I will push all this change inside GitHub and put it inside of video when I will upload it. So this is a configuration which I'm showing right now topology inside of my Linux, like as Docker container works in this iPad and for Kclub itself, at the same time Active Directory and other, a Vagrant box, which I've started it. At the same time, inside of Kubernetes cluster, I deployed Kafka with Helm chart. At the same time, uh, Kafka UI from Provectas team. So in, with this domain, I've configured virtual service, which works right now, which uh, from my laptop, I can open it try to go to the Kafka UI interface. So let me switch to the client configuration of the Kclock. I have Infra realm. Inside of infra realm, I have clients. I've configured Kafka UI. Important part here, it's nearly the same for any of configuration pages related to Grafana, it doesn't matter, RGCB or any of them, Python application, it doesn't matter. But important part here, which I spent a lot of time to map with the mapper groups with this configuration, which Based on this, Kafka UI can get roles and map these roles to give permissions which to topics, consumers, or any related permissions in, in the interface, in, I mean, inside of the Kafka UI. And inside of Kclock, in, K, in, in client, uh, in client, and actually inside of Realm, I've configured groups, uh, sorry, Realm roles, admin. And viewer inside of admin, we can see TO and username present, and inside of viewer, Eric Cockshot, you will see right now, username present. So, based on this information, role will map in K of groups, which Kafka UI will get it to understand inside of which group will be present inside of which user. And then, based on, on this, it will give permissions. So, I'm switching to the configuration part to show you what I did here. Actually, let me switch to the Commands of the Kafka itself. So it is installed with the values from Bitnami Kafka Helm chart. And inside of values, small values, I've used Zookeeper, a broker at the same time because I have three nodes. And it's not interesting part, as I said before, all chains will be pushed to the GitHub. At the same time, if I will switch to the Kafka UI Provectus, you can see I installed it with the values, which I will show right now with which important parts. So as we see inside of values, I've defined the cluster name will be like as this. We will see it, of course, when I will open page for any of the username. It's bootstrap of Kafka, which I've deployed. Authentication type method, OAUS2, client, client ID, scope, issue URL for my realm where it is located, which attribute we will, will get it from there, client name Kclock, provider Kclock, important part here, custom params OAUS2, and role fields groups, which I showed before inside of mapper, which I've configured inside of Kclock for client Kafka UI. An important part, I've enabled role based access control here for Kafka UI we can see we have two roles, one of them admins, another one read only. Inside of admins, important part here, subject, which will map to our provider, role with the name admin and with this permission. So it means for our user, if it will present inside of admin role, all access achievable. But in case of viewer, we can see it's only some most of them view and some of them message read. So we'll see difference between them actually. Right now we'll close it because important part is finished. I will open so Kclock to 
Kafka UI example local page redirected to the clock. It is still on user. It's actually an admin. We can see the clusters, our cluster with name clusters, our brokers, topics. As we see, we can permission. We can create topic because we, do, we have permission to do it. If if I will create it, it doesn't matter. I use three partitions and create topic. So as we see, it works. If I will go back to topics, we see five present there. At the same time, consumers, it doesn't matter. If I will do logout and login back, I'm sorry, with the air caution. So we can see we see cluster, we go to brokers, we see the two, but inside of topics, add topic, button not present because. For the user air cock shot inside of viewer row, like as row, we don't have permission to create topic. So that's it actually. I hope it will be useful.